Now let's talk about uh, volleyball. We know that uh, the Malkia Strikers have already been able to qualify for the Olympics that will be held in uh, 2024. So the, the Olympics will be the big one, but we also have uh, the African Games, uh, which will also be held in 2024. And the side also wants to start and they want to get a positive result. Now let's talk about a different team altogether. And this uh, is the men's uh, team. A lot is happening in that uh, men's uh, team. And the... Kenya Volleyball Federation president is saying that we should try as much as possible and see how well we'll be able to assist Wafalme because in the African Games for them, they were able to finish on the ninth position. Not the best of results for the people who are following, but they are saying we have been feeling neglected and the Federation is saying we will try as much as possible to make Wafalme feel like they are the kings in Africa that they are supposed to be. Wafalme finished ninth place. And um, to some extent, I talked to them the other time and they felt like they have been neglected or sidelined, which is also contributing to their law on close to no performance. What is your take on that? As a federation, you've just come in. What are you planning to do to ensure that they also feel include, included compared to their counterparts, Malikia strikers? What is happening is, is that uh, the reality on the ground is that our two big brands, are Malkia strikers and Wafalme stars. Okay, Malkia has grown in status and stature a bit, a bit more, a bit faster, and they, they are ranked higher both continentally and in the world, but we have not neglected them. We have great plans for them. As you can see, we made them feature in the Africa Cup of Nations. It's, it was bad that uh, they ended up in what was called the pool of death because three of the four uh, countries, three of the four teams that are in the semis were actually in our pool. So uh, we, we are satisfied with that startup and we are going to make sure that the tradition continues. To build a good team, it has to be together more frequently, it has to have more exposure and we have big plans for both uh, Malkia Strikers and, uh, and uh, Wafalme Stars. We are not leaving anybody behind. We, from this moment on, we look for opportunities where they'll play together as a team, train as a team a bit more, get more exposure against uh, better countries, you know, in North Africa and, and elsewhere. So we're actually going to have some deliberate effort to make sure that we export that particular uh, brand and also make it grow. It's uh, one of our priorities. It's that plus uh, uh, age group competitions and, you know, and also uh, centers of excellence for the youth. Those are the things that we have in the pipeline. We're working them out and very soon we'll roll them out. But uh, we are very, very happy with the, the match they did with very little preparation, we were only able to keep them in camp for two weeks, two and a half weeks, but in future we'll be better prepared. When we prepared a bit better in 2021, we actually beat Egypt in, uh, in Rwanda, but this time they were, not, they were just unlucky to be in a very strong pool, so they ended up being, uh, you know, being forced onto a route where they could not go to the top eight, but I'm sure some of the countries that have ended up in top eight. If we met them, we we'll definitely have beaten them. But uh, we have big plans, and we are really hoping that uh, our plans work out. Soon, you'll see Ofalme stars as a real big brand.